Samburu area of Kinango constituency, Kwale County, will be officially commissioned tomorrow by President William Ruto. The plant that is currently operating at 65% capacity is already changing the fortunes of thousands of residents of Gora Village with over 1,000 people employed directly. Francis Mutalaki toured the modern facility ahead of its commissioning and he filed this report. Sitting along the busy Mombasa Nairobi Highway at Samburu area Kinango constituency in Kuali County is the latest Devki steel mill built on a 168 acre piece of land. It is slowly changing the face of this Gora village. Uh, we have put the biggest uh, steel plant which is uh, first time in eastern central Africa made, uh, making steel from uh, iron ore, uh, not from scrap. Uh, so that uh, we get the international standard uh, TMT bars, wire road and billets. The 30 billion shilling mill is already operational. Though at 65% of production capacity, Devki targets production of 500,000 tons in a year. We will achieve 100% capacity by end of this month uh, or beginning of uh, middle of next month. We, our target is to make Kenya import free. And uh, uh, the saying that what we say is that be, uh, buy Kenya, build Kenya. We want to make sure that we are uh, patriotic Kenyan and stop importation and uh, use the locally produced international standard material. The raw materials, sponge iron, scrap metal, pig iron and other additives are put in this melting shop. <laughs> 2,700 before being taken to the rolling mill to produce this product that is taken through a cooling process to give different types of steel. TMT bars are the one we normally use for construction and then coal is the one we normally use for processing other products like nails, welding mesh, chicken mesh. We have also what we call barbed wires. And then, uh, as far as now, TMT bus is concerned, we normally go now for construction. The requirement of Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania is less than 300,000 tons. We have the option to make it to 1 million ton production uh, capacity of the plant. And uh, this is what is our plan, is that once we reach the half a million ton demand in Kenya or in East Africa, we will expand it to 1 million tons so that we are secured for the next 15 years. President William Ruto is expected to officially commission the project on Friday. More than a thousand people are directly employed. Uh, His Excellency is coming and we expect him to give us the protections and any and the industry which is producing locally their finished product and the raw material, for example, which is imported currently, should be banned or a duty, heavy duty on the importation. Only then this kind of mega industry will survive because of our production cost is always higher. Like China exports, they don't get anything, but they get 16% or 15% rebate from the government. So they sell it cost to cost, but their profit margin is 15% because government gives them the incentive, which we can't. Kenya don't have that much money to, to give 15% on top of your cost. But at least Kenya can stop importation by putting up the heavy duty. And that is what I expect from His Excellency to do. <laughs> The face of Gora village where the mill is has been undergoing change with settlements cropping up as business thrives in the area. What wengi walikuwa na lia sana maneno ya insecurity wizi ilikuwa mingi sana lakini kutoka hii kuanda ijengwe watu wengi wamenufaika wamepata kazi ambapo inawakipu busy hawezi fanya nini uovu yote and then ukipata wa mama pale inje wanapikia wengine uh, wa, wafanyikazi wa hapa chakula at least wanapata nini mkate yao ya kila siku umetusaidia sana kwanza jambo la kwanza umesaidia na ajira vijana wengi sasa hivi hapa mtaani umeweza kupata ajira wanafanya kazi na kutoshelesha mahitaji yao ya pili biashara biashara imekuwa sasa Kenya 
na nashukuru kwa sababu hata kuna vijana wengi sana sasa hivi wamenufaika na, na hii kampuni the value of land in the area has also appreciated however there are concerns law has to be very straightforward government has to make the clear cut that the one land cannot be having a three title deed and it should be the correct title deed of the person kama bado iko kama if they don't have the title deed for example then if it is a group range for example then they should do the adjudication and and make it 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 so legal on computerized system that nobody can change it that can that that will solve the the land issue but if we just keep it on the papers and the files it will be always fraudulent over 1000 people are employed at this factory and once fully operational in the next 8 months the company expects to employ more than 2500 people Francis Mtolaki Citizen TV Kinango Kwale County all right, thank you so much, Francis Mtalaki.